So I'm here in the Miami Design District and it is spectacular. There's so much to do here and as well a hub of fashion and design and taste making, not just in Miami, but internationally. Oh, my man, George Russell. This is the place, for example, to get $1,000 outfits for your kids, a $10,000 watch for yourself, be immersed in art and beautiful people, international, and just all around get tempted by everything. What's perhaps interesting about this area is that it was not always a popular bustling place to come to in Miami. People always know South Beach and those kind of areas, but what happened was about 20 years ago, when this was a warehouse district, one man purchased most of the block and little by little began converting the neighborhood into what it is today. The other thing about this neighborhood, there's perpetually construction and new things going in. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the cars. You may follow me on my other channel, Third Pedal Metal, and you know that this is where I come from to see some of the best cars in the country on this side of Beverly Hills. So I only had to wait exactly four seconds after I filmed the last shot to stumble upon a nice car with this beautiful Porsche GT3. And a flagship Audi SUV, a Taycan Turbo S, another Porsche, and another Porsche, and another Porsche. So if you don't like cars, there's plenty of nice art to look at as the Wynwood Art District abuts this neighborhood close by. A lot of these buildings, by the way, are beautiful to look at. That's where we just were a moment ago inside. So it wouldn't be a two-bit YouTube travel video without a time lapse. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. True to its name of the design district, there's a lot of neat architecture and building design like this. All right, let's move a little bit deeper into the neighborhood. By the way, for the car people, that is a pretty rare Maserati MC20. Even in this neighborhood, I don't see this car with much frequency. Probably someone in the store shopping. There's the Creed store, which sells four to five hundred dollar colognes. And here is the Aries Modena design automotive store, which is only, I believe, three in the world. One of them is in Dubai, and I don't know where the other one is. Get a load of this car if you can see through the window. They're closed right now. That's the P1. So there's different times of year when you can come here and you'll have less foot traffic and more of the place to yourself. And it's summer right now in Florida. It's uh, the end of the season in August, and this is a pretty good time to come here, even on a Sunday right now when it typically gets very busy. This is the off season. Christmas time, February, it is packed. If you follow me on Third Pedal Metal, you know I always ask, which one would you choose? You got a Rolls Royce Cullinan, and another yellow Maserati. Oh yeah, you often see cool rich people dogs in the neighborhood. There's the off-white store. A lot of the stores that pop up here are just that, pop-ups. Like this Breitling store, for example, I don't think is intended to be here full time. Um, I'm not sure about this leather shop. I think that is too. Around the corner, there is a Tesla dealership that has been here permanently. Oh yeah, by the way, G-Wagons here are as common as a uh, Honda Civic. And here is the Tesla dealer that I spoke of earlier. Elon Musk, if you're watching, please fix what's going on with Twitter. 
Let me quickly show you inside the alcoholic ice cream store. That's exactly what it sounds like. So this pavilion over here is always cool for looking at some of the art that goes in, like installation art. Usually there's a nice mural up on the wall. Oh yeah, there's a bakery that's built out of a shipping container. There's a giant solo cup. Chilling in the shade. There's some parts of the country where you might go all year without seeing a Rolls-Royce Collinon, the half million dollar Rolls-Royce SUV. But in the design district, you frequently see multiple at the same time. Ferrari 296. It's not uncommon to see commercial shoots going on down here. So that's the design district. YouTube thinks that you will like this video next.